The last few releases of the GNOME desktop environment have really changed my opinion about GNOME because for many years, GNOME was pretty bad, in my opinion. I thought pretty much most of the GNOME 3 series was pretty buggy, pretty slow, pretty heavy, and it wasn't a great desktop experience. I thought it was one of the poorer desktop experiences on Linux. But with the GNOME 40 series, man, that has really changed. I've really enjoyed, especially some of the last couple of releases of GNOME, but there's still something missing with GNOME 40. And, you know, what is missing to me, maybe it's nostalgia, but I miss some of those old school effects, those desktop effects we had back in the GNOME 2 days, you know, about 15 years ago with GNOME 2 and Compiz, and you had some of those compositing effects where you could do fancy animations and things on the screen. And I, I want to get some of that back in GNOME 40. So that's the topic of today's video. So today I'm running Ubuntu 2304 with the GNOME 44 desktop environment and I'm going to open up a terminal and let me zoom in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sudo apt install gnome-shell-extensions-manager. It'll just make installing some of these extensions a bit easier. And it says unable to locate the package because that should just be extension without an s-manager. And now it will install correctly. Now let me exit out of the terminal. Now let me hit the super key to bring up the search here and type extension. Yep, extension manager. So now this is a easier way for us to search and install extensions. So let's go ahead and browse and I'm going to search for uh, wobbly windows. I want the wobbly windows effect. And this one right here by Hermes83, the Compiz windows effect, that is the one that's got like more than 300,000 downloads. So that is one that actually works. There's a couple of other wobbly window extensions in the uh, GNOME extensions store, but some of those are older and they no longer work, but this one should work. So let's go ahead and get this installed. And now that this is installed, I move this window around, you can see I now have wobbly windows. That's a slow wobble. I'm sure I could probably uh, change some of the animations with that. But, you know, now I'm starting to get some of that old school GNOME 2 with Compiz animations. You know, that nostalgia feeling that, that I was looking for. The wobbly windows really helps. But there's some other extensions I think we should add as well. One of the things I really loved was like exploding windows and setting windows on fire. And I believe we have that effect available in the modern GNOME shell as well with burn my windows. So let's go ahead and install burn my windows. And now that we have that installed, let me open up the file manager here and you can see the fire when it opens and we still have the wobbly window effect as well. And when I close the window, <laughs> it catches on fire and just disintegrates right in front of us. I, I have to admit, I love that effect. And of course, all of this would not be complete if we did not also include the classic desktop cube effect. So search for desktop cube and the very first search result here by Simi, he's the same guy that did the burn my windows extension. So this guy, he really knows what he's doing here. Let's go ahead and install desktop cube. And now that that is installed, let's go ahead and close this window. And now that we have the cube enabled, if I hit the super key, just tap it. And of course you get your uh, workspace overview here, right? And now if I just click the desktop with the mouse and I can just turn it like a cube, right? And I can go in any direction. That's, you know, it's not quite as smooth, I would say, as the old Compiz effect, but it's pretty smooth and some little glitchiness, but that is actually not bad. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's add some some windows to some of these desktops. That way we have something to look at here. So let's move to this workspace. We'll add a terminal on this one. And then tap the super key and I can go back to this desktop, back around to this desktop. Of course, I can move the windows around as well. Yeah, very cool. Let's go ahead and get out of that. Let's close that window. Get back to the terminal. Also close that window. So now Wobbly windows, burn my windows, and of course the desktop cube. 
I think this this is very important to have as part of any desktop environment, especially the GNOME desktop environment, because we had these fancy effects, you know, 15, 20 years ago, and a lot of people like myself have missed these. I think going forward, anytime I install a distribution that uses GNOME, or if I install GNOME inside a virtual machine that I plan on keeping around, I'm going to install these effects, especially that burn my windows effect. That thing is super cool. Now before I go, I need to thank the producers of this episode, and of course, I'm talking about Gabe, James, Maxim, my homies too bald, Matt, Mimit, Mitchell, Paul, Royal, West, Armor Dragon, Bash, Potato, Chuck, Commander, Angry, George, Lee, Marstrom, Methos, Nate, Er, Jan, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Floor, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Profit, Rolling Tools, Devler, Willie, and Zenibit. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at these really cool effects that are available with the latest versions of GNOME, this wouldn't be possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. Without these guys, I couldn't do what I do. I depend on you guys for your support. If you like my work want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Ah, I forgot to look for rain effects and snow effects.